Hi YouTube, it's Calandra. I know it's been a long time since I've been here and uh, given you guys a video. I just wanted to let you know though that I was so determined to make a video. I just got back uh, about an hour or so ago from my in-laws house for my 4th of July barbecue. I'm tired but I was determined to make this video so I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed your 4th of July, had a safe and great holiday weekend. Some of you may be still out there with your fireworks and your barbecues. So be safe. It is really hot in New York, and so I hope everybody had a great weekend. So here it is. The two things I want to talk about today, Sally Hansen uh, Salon Manicure, which I have reviewed before. I'm still digging it. Um, you just have to kind of, you know, watch when you apply it to make sure that you apply your coats well and it will last. I have on today um, my new color right said red. I actually swatched them for you. So let me show you the colors first. This is right said red. Beautiful red shade. This is back to the fuchsia which is a nice um, pink fuchsia color. This is fruity patootie which is a kind of uh, melon fuchsia color. And then I have some browns. I may have shown you this one before. Mudslide which is like a mauve, light mauve color. Hot chocolate, which is a beautiful, it's not copper, it looks coppery, but it's actually a nice um, chocolate plumish color. And this one is Plums the Word. This one is a little funky, but it works and you might like it. Here are my swatches. So let me just focus for you. Yes, there's something on the back side of this piece of paper. I couldn't find a blank piece of paper, right? So it's something from my son's school. But this is the, the, oops, the right said red, back to the fuchsia, fruity patootie the mudslide, the hot chocolate, and the plums the word. Great colors. Try to catch them when they're on sale at CVS. Buy one, get one 50% off. Secondly, as I have said in previous videos, I'm trying to pull back from Mac and not be so reliant on Mac. But I think Mac is a great start for um, people who are getting started with makeup. But there were a few neutrals that I did want to pick up to have in my palette that I'm sure other people have already. And they're like, Calandra, this is nothing new. The first one I picked up a couple of weeks ago from the Mac counter was soft brown which is a nice matte color very great neutral this is great for my eyelids it's it's neutral for me um, and I picked up this deep rust orange color and I can't pop the top off uh, it's called rule and it's another matte color it's like a rusty orange but it's uh, very um, dull orange the reason I purchased these was a while back Desi 1016 did a great great tutorial um, a neutral eye where she used I think Teta Tint over her eyelids and she used either Swiss chocolate or espresso in the crease and then she actually took I don't remember I think it was actually called orange but it was a MAC orange color um, bright orange and put it like kind of in the brow area and it was so pretty it just peeked out a little bit of orange so when I first did the look back um, Oh, a while ago, back in the spring I guess I didn't have those colors I had Teta Tint. Teta Tint is a little light for my um, complexion in terms of my um, my uh, my eye my my eyelids. Okay, I'll get it together. I told you I was tired. It's a little light for my eyelids. It's a better highlight color for me. But I use Teta Tint. I use Swiss chocolate, and I use espresso in the crease. And I use the um, darker orange uh, shade in my Mediterranean Duo from Nars, which was the first Nars um, eyeshadow duo that I had ever purchased. So speaking of NARS, oh, one more thing that I got from MAC, I'm sorry. Um, this is another staple. Blunt brush, bl ooh, blunt blush, <laughs> which um, uh, can be used as a contour. It could be used as a crease color. It could be used anywhere. This, from what I understand, is like this kind of all-purpose color. I particularly like it. I've used it. I haven't used it in my crease yet, but I have used it as a contour color on my cheek when I'm wearing neutral colors. And now here's my NARS mini haul, my new favorite, favorite, favorite eyeshadow. Um, shouts out to the SP Nation who has the most wonderful NARS collection. And I tweeted him and he promised that he was going to do a NARS video at some point. So I just want to let you know if you're watching, I'm waiting for that video. Um, but he did a nice tutorial a few weeks ago on this color, Eurydice. I have done this video three times and I think I've pronounced it three different ways so y'all bear with me but it's a beautiful plum plum color 
<laughs> with purpling, um, purple and blue flecks. Beautiful color. Beautiful nighttime look. Strictly nighttime. And the charcoal gray with kind of silver gray flecks. This is absolutely beautiful. I love NARS um, duos. But even more so, I love NARS blush. This is Albatross. Erin at Scandalous Beauty did a great, great video on NARS um, blushes and eyeshadows a while back. And, and that's actually where I got the idea to purchase some of the ones that I had. And um, Albatross looks like just, you know, white blush. But I call it my, my magic blush. Because when you put it on, and I don't know if you can see the swatch, but when you put it on, it comes out to be like a sheer gold. See, it's so sheer. It's a sheer shimmery gold. You can actually wear it by itself. Now, you know, I'm a brown girl, but I, I pulled it off last week because I didn't want to wear any color on my cheeks. I just wanted some shimmer, and I did it, and it worked. I used it as a highlight with a darker blush underneath. If I could do that and pull it off, you could do it and pull it off. I was very afraid of this. I do not fear the albatross. Second color that I got, which I think is really pretty, it's now, I think, my next favorite blush next to Taj Mahal by NARS. And by the way, if you don't know, NARS blushes are very brown girl friendly. And I'll leave it at that. This is Exhibit A, most beautiful color I've seen. It's a beautiful brick red. It's almost as red as my shirt. Um, you can pull this off. I don't know if you could still see it, but I actually have it here. It's a really nice, it's not red. It comes out as a nice pop of color. And what I also have done is use a little albatross on top and put the um, Exhibit A underneath and mixing the two and blending it down gives you like a goldish brick red so the exhibit uh, I'm sorry the albatross gives you a nice little gold shimmer to whatever you use it with I would believe that you could actually layer it on top of your blush to give your blush a little shimmer when I did it um, I used it as a high used albatross as a highlight and then blended it down a little bit with the darker um, blush color so that's the beginning of my NARS life I'm, I'm really getting into NARS so I'm starting to uh, troll through YouTube and looking at NARS uh, eyeshadow duo tutorials to find colors that I think I'd like because I don't have time to go to Sephora and look through all the colors so that's what I'm doing um, I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you had a great holiday weekend I did not forget about my jewelry partnerships I need to contact those people individually before I go forward but I will be doing an introductory video to those people who will be jewelry partners with me thank you so much for watching oh I know I wanted to talk about Twitter if you guys are on Twitter, uh, there's two women that I want you to follow. Tia Dantzler, and I'll have their links at the bottom. Tia Dantzler, who is makeup maven to the stars. Um, great makeup artist, great, great person, and just very down to earth. And the other person is, um, oh my gosh, I forgot that quick. I had it written down. Oh, I'm so sorry. Jen James Beauty. Jen James Beauty, she is absolutely beautiful. She's another beautiful sister who is a makeup artist extraordinaire. Has a Facebook page that you guys should check out. And she's also on Twitter. They give great makeup advice. And of course, my all time favorite, Sam Fine Beauty, who is also on Twitter and also has a Facebook page. Check these people out. They are awesome. You will love them. You learn from them. That's the only reason I'm on Twitter is because I learn all these great tips and tricks. And sometimes if you ask them questions, they actually answer you back. I hope you guys have a great night and a great week. Thanks so much for all my subscribers, my new subscribers, my current subscribers. I love you guys so much. Thank you. Bye.